two, one, rush. Robots in motion as the autonomous period begins. A little bit of setup, a little bit of peace collecting, but not a lot of scoring. We'll wait up these last five seconds. And with that sound, the drivers take the controls and we are ready to roll here in match number nine. Litter flying through the air on the red side, now being loaded over the driver's station into a container by 1983, that's Skunkworks. Viking Robotics in possession of one yellow tote, looking to pick up a second from their feeder station, while Neobots on the blue side of the field hold on to a littered container, and they'll go off in search of some gray totes to put that on top of. Their alliance partners, the Bulldogs, also with a container, no litter there, but still looking for those totes. Meanwhile, the red side of the field finds 2976, the Spartabots with one gray tote, now two. They've got that tote on the ground. They tend to use that as a loading platform. We'll see how that works out for them as they move forward in the last 85 seconds of this match. Panther Robotics for Red now putting two and three gray totes on the scoring platform. Six points right there for Red. 2976 going to try to add to that scoring as the Skunks build their stack in the corner. And the Blue Alliance sees 4173, the Bulldogs, with a container and a gray tote. While the Vikings put two yellow totes on the step, they are setting up for the cooperation points in the last minute of this match. <laughs> Panther now holding on to one yellow tote after the Skunks drop their five high gray tote stack on the scoring platform. They're gonna try to grab another container and go back for more. Spartabots 2976 trying to add to the fun for red. They've got a gray tote and a container, a second gray tote on its way. The Blue Alliance sees 2928 with one now two gray totes. The Neobots 2903 trying to collect some as well as we're now under 30 seconds remaining. There go the Spartabots. They've got three gray totes and a container. They're aiming for an existing stack of three. They are up. A little wobble back under control. And it is down. Nice job, Red Alliance at 29.76. The Bulldogs gonna try to cap for blue as well as we have three, two, one, and that will do it. Panther not quite able to finish that cooperation stack, but the refs will clean up this carnage and we'll be back in just a moment. Red Alliance for that match, containing your number one ranked team, Team 1983. And with an outstanding score, they look possibly able to hold that position. 106 points for Red, not quite enough to keep Skunk Works at the top, but enough to bring their Alliance partners, 2976 and 3218, up into the top 10. 10 points for Blue, able to raise the qualification average of one of those Blue Alliance teams. Everybody will be back again soon, and we'll have more matches in just a moment. <laughs>